what is happening guys welcome back to the channel I'm Andrew Nordby if you haven't seen my YouTube channel go check it out fishing with Nordby but today we are not taking the boat fishing we are fishing this little pond right here look how blue it is super clear water we're gonna fish off the dock I see a tiny little 10 inch bass sitting up under the dock but these fish ought to be moving up getting ready to spawn down here in Alabama and we're gonna walk all the way around the pond and fish and today we're going to be fishing jigs so I'm gonna be teaching you how to fish a jig there's lots of different varieties of jigs there's swim jigs there's casting jigs there's flipping jigs football jigs all sorts of jigs what jig do you need in what situation and you can fish jigs all over the country ponds lakes doesn't matter you're gonna catch fish but you need to use the right jig for the right situation so we're gonna break that down I'm gonna pull out a few jigs here that I got uh, in my mystery tackle box over the last few months and we're gonna fish this pond break it down see if we can catch a few fish I'm excited getting on down here to the dock and I want to show you these four type of jigs I'm talking about today right here this first one is a Nichols lure uh, flipping jig and it's got little toothpicks in there for the trailer keeper it's got a hole through the trailer keeper you can shove that through and without super glue keep your trailer on there longer but that is a green pumpkin flipping jig so there's also one more flipping jig in here it is Callen's flipping stalker jig this is a 3 8 ounce and they're both green pumpkin variations this one right here is a half ounce so the difference between the two uh, the, the flipping style jig, you're going to be flipping cover. You're going to be flipping trees, flipping rocks, flipping uh, laydowns, flipping the edge of grass, flipping around posts and stuff. Any Anytime you're fishing cover and structure, I flip a jig in there. And I'm not making super long casts, but I'm flipping to a specific thing. And it's built so that it pops over that cover a little bit easier. So your 3 8 ounce, I'm going to be flipping when I'm on a shallower bank, less than 10 feet flipping up into one two feet of water and just slow crawling that jig down there a little deeper especially in your colder months I like going a little slower half ounce I'm going to be using up to 15 feet and I'm going to be flipping it maybe four or five feet you can use a little bigger trailer and it'll still fall fairly fast and I, I like that especially in the summer or when they want a little faster fall a little half ounce flipping jig Let's see what else we got. Next jig right here is a casting jig by Callens, and this is a blue 3 8 ounce, black and blue. So I'm using this in a little bit murkier water, probably not in this clear pond today, and that's when I throw a black and blue color. I throw natural colors in clear water, and when it's a little stained up, a little dirty, less than a foot or two of clarity, I'll break out my black and blue. Or on super cloudy, rainy days, black and blue is really good. But this casting style jig, we're going to be bombing it out there ways, dragging it back, dragging it over humps, rock piles, points. You're just going to be casting it away. It's built to, to fling way out there and, and bring it back. Um, it recommends a pork trailer, Uncle Josh's pork frogs. Uh, you can also throw little crawls on the back of all of these. And then this next jig we're going to talk about is a swim jig. The swim jig I got in my box is this Grass Hero by Guggen Squad. Good looking swim jig, 3 8 ounce. And we're actually going to open it up. I'm going to go ahead and put a trailer on this. We're going to be fishing it around today around the grassy edge of this pond. And a swim jig is meant to do just what it says. It's meant to swim. So we're going to rig a swim bait on there and if your swim bait's not long enough you might have to trim your skirt uh, that way enough of your trailer shows i like trimming my skirt just below the hook there about right there so we're going to do that and we're also going to rig up the swim bait real quick i'm going to throw a little exo swim on it i also got out of my mystery tackle box a green pumpkin pearl color and you want that swim bait to be straight so i'm going to rig it up there and throw it on straight just like that slide it all the way up past the barbs there you go there you have it straight swim jig we're going to cast that guy around and it's going to look like a little bait fish bluegill up there in the edge of the grass and there's a couple different retrieves i'll show you when we get to casting it but that is the first setup we're going to tie on today and then i'm also going to tie on one of those flipping jigs a 3 8 ounce so we got our flipping jig out of the box. I'm gonna throw a trailer on it. There's a couple different trailers I would throw on this. We have either a four inch Rage Menace, which is a good little menace scrub. You can also throw that on your swim jig. They both kick. Or we have a uh, little crawl trailer here, a little pork chunk. This is Carl's Wide Chunk, Watermelon Red Flake. Really good looking chunk. Um, but I think because we want a little bit of action, chunk kind of just glides down. Since I want a little bit of action, I'm going to throw on this menace scrub right here. 
This is a green pumpkin with a tiny hint of chartreuse in it. Looks really good. So as far as rigging it up, you want it on there straight as well. If I'm using it as a swim jig, I want the paddles vertical with the hook. Uh, but since we're, we're dragging it, I'm gonna turn them horizontal. That way it kind of crawls along the bottom a little better. And make sure you get that on there straight. All the way up over the barb, the bait keeper, just like that. Our uh, flipping jig's ready to go. Ready to catch some fish. So we're gonna tie it on, cast out there. Let's see what we can get. Okay, the first jig we're gonna tie on is this little swim jig here. We're actually gonna fish it around the grass edges of this pond. Super natural looking color. Tying it on with a polymer knot here, just like so. And we're gonna get to casting. Throwing it around the weed edges. A lot of times I use braid when I'm fishing a swim jig because you can pop it through the weeds quicker. But we have 17 pound floral on uh, in this clear water. And there's a couple different ways to fish a swim jig. You can either steadily retrieve it on the grass edge or you can pump it. And the fish want it a different way depending on the day. So try both ways. But you fish this jig pretty fast right along your grass edges and weed lines or uh, thick cover. Thick cover is where you want to throw this jig, usually up shallow. I like popping it. Got to make those hard casts to catch those fish sometimes. Oh, there he is. Yeah, first one right out from that pine tree. Oh, he got down in the grass. Look at that, that's a baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, what a baby. Wow. <laughs> that is crazy. Even the smallest little fish will eat the jig. Look at that. Aggressive bass, see ya. That's awesome. Let's get another one. There's some sticks that come out the edge of this grass next to this tree here, and that's where he was. Out a little further. He's popping it, and he sucked it in. There he is. Another one right out in front of those trees there. Little guy. Man, what's with the little guys up there biting today? The bucks are moving up. About to make beds for the big ones, I guess. Not getting any big ones. Always go right back to where you call. That's two. An old swim jig. They're not smashing it, but they're not big ones either. Switching it up, we're gonna try the old flipping jig with the menace scrub on it. Drag it around, see if that does any better. Don't want our skirt in our knot there. There. Lick it. Pull tight. Try dragging this around out here along the weeds on the bottom. There's some scattered out throughout here. I'm just gonna fish it around the pond. We, we fished most of the edge of the pond with that swim jig and only got two bites. Caught them. I think the big ones are sitting out a little deeper. So we're just gonna try and bump over uh, weeds and stumps that are on the bottom throughout the pond here. Oftentimes you want to fish within 10, 20 feet of the edge of the pond or the lake you're fishing where they like to hang out on those drops. Just gotta find where they're hanging out today. You can hop this jig and let it fall or you can drag it. Cold spring, pre-spawn, I like to drag it. There's one. Yep. All right. Yep. Oh, he's not a big one either, but he's better than the other two. Yep. Getting better. All right. A little bigger out there, a little deeper. Not too much. Pretty fish. About 13 inches or so. See you, buddy. There he goes. Let's get another one. 
Let's sink all the way to the bottom. Dragging it super, super slow. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Tough to get bites today, tough to get bites. It's slick calm and it's been cold. The cold front's hit. It's been warm the past few days. Yesterday, cold front hit. They're just shut down. I feel like that jig is going in front of their face and they're not eating it. And I don't know if they'd eat anything today. But we did catch three. And I did have one more bite dragging the jig, but we did not hook up. So three little ones today, but that's all right. Get out. If, you, if you're not confident in throwing a jig, just keep it in your hand. Take it to the pond, take it to your lake, and just keep it in your hand. Figure out how to use it and how you like using it and what, what way you like fishing it. Get some confidence in it. It catches fish all year round. All lakes, ponds, people catch them on jigs. Your grassiest lakes, your rockiest lakes, uh, your flattest lakes all have good fish in them. They can be caught on a jig. So try it out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out my channel, Fishing with Norby. And we're going to see you in some more videos. But I uh, hope you have a wonderful day. We're going to get out of here. We'll see you on the next one.